Breaking right now, a showdown over clearing out the homeless in Echo Park. Activists squaring off with L.A. police officers right now. We have live team coverage with Air 7 HD overhead and Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter live on the ground with the breaking details. Leanne. Yeah, Mark, this is a very active scene, very tense scene. As you can see live behind me here, you can see all of the activists and protesters in a face off with a line of police officers here on Glendale Boulevard. We're at Glendale and Santa Inez. This is just one of at least two skirmish lines we know of here along the scene. You can see how many officers we're talking about here at Santa Inez. They stretch all the way across the street. They also fill the middle section here of Glendale Boulevard. But let me show you from Air 7. I believe there's a second skirmish line just to the south here of Santa Inez. I believe down to Glenbell Boulevard and Bellevue. That is another location where another group of protesters and activists have gathered again in a face off with officers. All of this because the LAPD has come in tonight to clear out Echo Park Lake here to clear out the homeless encampments that have been here. Uh, earlier today, dozens of activists showed up for a rally uh, to speak out about this. They have been fighting uh, the movements here. The uh, activities here of the LAPD that was expected. The city says that it needs to do this because it has to come in and do some repair work, some major projects, they say, on the lake as well as some of the infrastructure around the lake. And we expect that the LAPD will clear out the homeless encampments and be able to help uh, crews put up fencing around the lake. That is what is expected to happen tonight. Now, there have been homeless advocates as well as city uh, groups that have come in to try to help many of the homeless get housing, but those that we spoke to that live in the park say they have not gotten any help and say that they are absolutely frustrated and angry with this movement. Only a handful of people are still living in the park. But tonight we spoke with one woman who was still there and says she's going to stay there until she's removed or until she's arrested. This is a shocker. This truly was a bombshell unexpected. This is a matter of principle. And what, what they are doing is outright, it, it's, it's, it's outright scandalous. It's egregious. Now, another live look at the scene here in uh, Echo Park. You can see the line again of protesters standing arm in arm as they face off with police. So far, it has remained relatively peaceful. It has been loud, lots of chanting, lots of yelling. We have not seen uh, anything being thrown at officers really yet and no uh, violent confrontations yet. But I do know that they have declared this an unlawful assembly. They are ordering them to leave or is telling them that they will be arrested if they do. Don't. We also have seen a lot of uh, SWAT officers and uh, more ride officers coming in on Glendale Boulevard here. So they are certainly is a very large police presence here at the scene. But again, they are warning everyone to clear out. They want to clear out Glendale Boulevard here before they can go into the park. So far, nothing has happened at the park. We have not seen them go in that area yet and start to remove any of the homeless encampments, the tents and things like that. But they are expected to do that at some point tonight. For now, though, they are just working on clearing Glendale. Boulevard and trying to get all the protesters out of here. They're asking us to move as well. Uh, that's the latest here at Echo Park. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, Leanne, we uh, will probably come back to you as, you as you can reassert your signal. If you need to move, go ahead and do so, but we may check back with you in a few minutes as we continue to report this story. This is a story that has galvanized this neighborhood in Echo Park. People on both sides very adamant in their positions. The homeless saying, uh, many of them saying they have a right to be there in the park, saying they have no place to go. A residents who live nearby saying they need a place for their kids to play and, it, and they can't because this encampment has grown and that there have been uh, all kinds of things that, that spring up around homeless encampments, uh, health hazards, needles and the like. And uh, the residents, many of them, cheering this uh, eviction of the homeless encampment. Many activists, though, saying folks here need uh, housing and not to be swept away. Uh, it is worth noting that the city has offered everyone in that uh, encampment uh, uh, through Project Room Key, they've offered them all hotel rooms. They've offered them a place to stay. There have been shuttle uh, buses and vans that have taken a lot of people out of the park to those hotel rooms, and the people who have stayed uh, were offered that same uh, uh, effort to get off the streets and uh, have not, uh, for whatever reason, for whatever reason that they are providing, have decided not to do that. Uh, this statement coming from Mitch O'Farrell, he's the LA City Council member who represents that area. 
uh, statement he released tonight. One of them saying our homeless service providers will return tomorrow morning to continue their work with the park's unhoused residents to offer shelter and services to anyone who wants and needs the assistance. A second statement, the Los Angeles Police Department was asked to support community safety efforts during installation of the fencing to assist in the rehabilitation of Echo Park. Department personnel are deployed in that area so that those efforts can begin in a safe and unimpeded manner. So Councilman O'Farrell saying the LAPD is there to basically uh, allow city workers to put the fence around the park that will allow for the renovations to begin. Uh, and we have uh, Bruce Thomas with us now. He is a law enforcement expert. Normally, Bruce, we'd see you when, during a high-speed pursuit. Tonight, we see police uh, in uh, riot gear confronting uh, people who are resisting the effort to sweep this park. And uh, it's a standoff here. What, what do you make of it? Yeah, Mark, it's a, it's a very tenacious situation. You have, um, obviously, they don't want to have to use force. Uh, they declared a citywide tactical alert. They have hundreds of officers there in two separate skirmish lines. And eventually, they're going to have to move this crowd. It becomes a public safety issue where city employees need to go into this park uh, to put up fencing, to start the improvements and the repairs, which the city of Los Angeles desperately needs. And you have the homeless that are in the park and have been there for over a decade. And you have the residents who say, we want our park back. It is a difficult situation, a standoff. Uh, both sides very adamant about how they feel and what they believe should be happening right now. We are going to keep our cameras and our crews in place in case something changes. Bruce Thomas, thank you for joining us. We may check back with you as well if things uh, evolve or change there. In the meantime, hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.